What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. So today's just gonna be a Q&A. We're gonna get right into it. But question number one, who can hold their breath the longest underwater? Will or Ollie? All right, Ollie, we're gonna go at the count of three, okay? One, two, three. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. So it's a pretty dark, gloomy, and rainy day outside that you probably can't even actually tell by the camera, but it is, and I thought I would do a Q&A, a wet and dry Q&A, but we were gonna start off dry first because we gotta get excited to get wet. We gotta get the juices kinda going, so let's get into it. So as you can see, I have a massive package here of 20 pounds of powder in the form of protein this time. So this is from Blue Star. You can save yourself 10% using 10E10, link in the description. So we're gonna do like a, just a dry taste test with absolutely no water, but hey, that's what spits for. So all these questions came from my Instagram. If you didn't have a chance to ask me, make sure to follow me at Will Tenney for the next Q&A. So we have four different flavors of protein here. I'm just gonna take a scoop right out of the tub and by the end of these 15 questions I'm about to answer, we're gonna rate my favorite to least favorite. So we're gonna start off with the Funky Monkey. Ooh, that's an interesting sounding one. Smells like banana bread. I mean, I guess the monkeys get a little bit funky when they get their bananas, just like me. All right. Mmm. You know what? Usually with banana products, I get kind of worried. This one tastes too artificial. But this tastes like pretty much just like pure banana bread. I can imagine making like my waffles or my pancakes with this. It'd be amazing. Very good. Five out of five for sure. All right, so let's answer some questions here once I get this down my throat. All right, so first question from Dixie Taranav. What do you do when you start getting bored of donuts? I'm gonna have to block you for even suggesting that. So next question from DDP underscore 98. Who is your dream celebrity dinner guest? John Mayer easily. His, uh, his favorite food is donuts just like mine. So he probably skip dinner and just head right into dessert. Question number three from Thomas Bailey six. What is your least favorite lift that you still regularly do? I'd say easily the barbell row. I, 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 by the time the set is done, I just get so winded. I'm like gassed after one set. And I feel like it's very hard to progress on that lift with consistent form. I feel like every time I try to strive for progressive overload other than like weight or reps, I end up like jerking the weight. So I don't know if each week I'm actually like adding volume in a sense. So if that makes sense, I'd definitely say the barbell row. Question number four from mihai.vlad193. What is your favorite vegan source of protein? Uh, I'm probably gonna say a natural source of protein and I'm gonna say lentils. Love me some good doll. My grandma makes a killer doll. Question number five from Max Weight What Now? What, what's now, Max? What was the biggest mental obstacle during your weight loss journey? So I didn't really have any mental obstacles because my obstacle was just to solely lose weight, drop the weight on the scale, and I did successfully achieve that, but obviously in a very unhealthy way. I lost a lot of weight very fast, but I didn't really face any obstacles until like the recovery process where I kind of had to like understand the difference between like that there is no such thing as good or bad food. I had to just not let myself feel guilty when I wanted to go out and enjoy a meal. So it's just about understanding that you can make anything work with moderation. All right, so next protein, we are gonna go in with some pumpkin spice. We're hitting Thanksgiving in August. Ooh, okay, hello cinnamon. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna try to come up with some sort of a protein pumpkin pie recipe with this thing. Oh wow, come on, it's not bad. I mean, I've never had pumpkin pie slash pumpkin spice protein before. It tastes exactly what you expect it to taste like. Mm. I'll give it like three out of five. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so question number six from underscore almond.hsn. How important is your mindset while trying to achieve your fitness goals? Well, your mindset is absolutely everything. And before I started working out, I had a terrible mindset. I was down on myself all the time, but it wasn't until I started working out and building upon my body that I also changed my mindset. Uh, you know, I'm accountable to something each week. I come into the gym with a program to follow. I wanna challenge myself every week to strive for better lifts, progressively overload, and I'm not afraid to fail now. So like some days you're not gonna have a good workout. You are gonna fail a lift that you got last week, but you gotta be okay with that 
and move on. It's just part of the process. So without a positive mindset, you're not really gonna get anywhere with anything. So question number seven from Red November 82, what sparked your love of donuts? And this was a great question. I actually really had to think about this one because I didn't really remember, but then it came to me that I was a Timbit man before the, the donut saga. You gotta you got teeter before you fly, you know? So uh, back in elementary school, when we were all little kids, uh, everyone would bring a big box of Timbits for their birthday. So I started to kind of dabble with the Timbits. Uh, but then once I got older, started drinking black coffee, uh, went into Tim Hortons one day and then was going for the black coffee. Then I just started making eye contact with a maple dip. So it wasn't even a filled donut at this point yet. And then it just, it just naturally kind of happened. I just ordered one, took a bite, and then it's kind of been history from there. But during that time, I like initially started eating donuts. It was never a filled donut. And it was mainly due to my mom. Mom, yeah. why did you never let me eat Boston cream donuts or like filled donuts in general? You know why? When I was a kid, like it was like the those were like the gross donuts. Anybody that had anything the that gross was gross donuts. Yeah, jelly filled or custard filled, like it was just very unappealing. So it was never something that I would ever buy. Yeah, so I never really had Boston creams ever until I'd say probably like a couple years ago. And since then it's just been like a, a weekly thing. Mom, come back for a sec. Oh. We wanna show them the, the train your heart women's okay. stuff. Willtennyson.ca. Show the back, the, the barbell donut. Looks pretty sick at one for your mom. I'm just saying that. <laughs> so it's pretty much started with Tim Bits, went to an unfilled one, then kind of saw a hole, needed to fill it, and then just been like that ever since. Question number nine from Adrian Peraza24. What is your favorite sport to watch? Absolutely hockey and then basketball. Played hockey for a long time as a kid, so always watch the Leafs, even though they let me down every year. And then question number 10 from Harish. Krishnan99. When are we gonna see your dad in a video? I don't know when I can find him. Uh, hopefully he shows up at the front door one day. Uh, but all seriousness, if this video gets 100K likes, how about me and my dad swap diets for a day? So hit that like button. So let's get into another protein here. So we got ourselves a cocoa mocha peanut butter. So a, still a flavor you don't see every day. This is why I love Blue Star. Pumpkin spice, funky monkey, like it's just a party. Smell wise, go to smell. You can learn a lot that way. Smells quite peanut buttery. The nut always comes through. A little bit more concerned. Oh, the cinnamon challenge situation. Oh, that's a good one. Very peanut buttery. Hint of mocha, hint of cocoa. Exactly what you expect. Mmm, I like this one. This one would be really good mixed with coffee. I'm gonna give this one four and a half out of five. So it doesn't beat my funky monkey. Okay, question. Number 11 from r underscore nur underscore 11. Did you go to college? If so, what did you study? So I did go to college. I went to University of Guelph. Just went for a general BA for a three year program. So I didn't have any specific majors. Took a bunch of different stuff. Didn't really know what I wanted to do. Once I graduated from Guelph, I went to George Brown College for a small business entrepreneurship program. It was a one year program, post-grad. That was pretty tough, a lot of work, but learned a lot and uh, yeah, so University of Guelph and George Brown College. Question 12 from Casey in Columbus. Have you ever really done cocaine? You joke about it often. Of course not. The only white powders I've taken are creatine, stevia, the occasional vanilla protein powder. <laughs> Next question from... And I actually haven't taken cocaine either. Yeah, right. Okay, question 13 from Daniel Slutters underscore 01. Slutter, hardly know her. Why did you start YouTube slash making videos? Uh, watched YouTube for a long time, long, long time. Always watched Max Tuning, Guzman, all those guys. Uh, my friends and family thought I'd be good at it. So I picked up my iPhone one day, started banging out videos, did one video a week just as like a, a hobby. Didn't really think it was gonna pick up to the point that it does now. And now I'm doing it full time and I, like, I can't see myself doing anything else. Question 14 from Bid Bjornali, B B Jornali. What is different now that you're a Gymshark athlete? Do you have to smile and stuff? I mean, I hope I don't, because that will not. It probably wouldn't work out for that long. Uh, I guess the only difference now is that I'm probably be wearing a little bit more Gymshark than I usually do. Although I do wear Gymshark quite a bit in my videos, so nothing is going to change. Videos are going to stay the exact same, just a little bit more of that. Yeah. Uh, question 15 from Iggy underscore Hacks. As a beginner, if you're consistent with training. When can you expect the difference in your physique? So as a beginner, you will like, you will see a difference no matter what you what, no matter what you do. You probably just walk into a gym and walk out and you'll grow. But uh, 
Yeah, so you'll grow obviously, but you have to be on a consistent program, a good program, because you could probably just go to the gym and go through the motions. You'll see some results, but it won't be that great. So if you're on a good program, linear progression, you have a consistent diet, you'll probably see really, really, really good progress within your first two to three months. Okay, let's get into this last protein pre. Answer the last couple here. So this one is key lime pie. That is quite the interesting protein powder, powder, powder flavor. Doesn't smell anything like key lime pie. I love me a good key lime pie, but I do prefer a moist pie. I don't know about this one. Hmm. Hmm. So there's a book by its cover. Oh, you know what? That lime is coming through. I also didn't think I was gonna get some of that graham cracker crust situation going on, but I'm getting it. Wow. Protein key lime pie recipe will be coming soon. Highly recommend this one. It's a nice little like tropical thing if you're feeling all, I don't know if you're feeling pretty cool about the pool. Key lime pie protein, four out of five. Question number 16 from Larissa Mathias. Tips on building confidence in the gym. Don't be afraid to ask people things. If you don't know what to do, ask people. They'll be happy to help you. And you have to remember that the people that you see that you kind of look up to in the gym, just remember they were in your position before. So they respect you. So just don't be, don't feel embarrassed. Just kind of go in, put in the work and yeah, you'll get your results. Question number 17, this is gonna be the last one of the dry, the dry series here, is from OG Dis, OG Dirt Stash. Okay, do you think people treat you nicer slash differently now compared to when you didn't work out? Absolutely, but I feel like a lot of that was my own fault. I feel like when you're not confident, people see that, and then people can kind of take advantage of you and like walk all over you. Like my body language was kind of like down. I was very embarrassed about my, about my body. So people were like, could just walk all over me. So I think if you're confident, people see that and they'll treat you with respect. So that was the last question. So let's rate these protein powders here. So easily number one, gonna go with my funky monkey. Number two, I would have to say the coca mocha peanut butter. Number three, we're gonna go with some key lime pie. And then last but not least, still good though, the pumpkin spice. Okay, so to stick with the protein theme, I thought about what could be wet with protein. Then I thought, how about a chocolate lava cake? So I went online, searched protein lava cake, found a pretty cool recipe, very easy to make, pretty low in calories, so we're gonna give it a shot. So the recipe that we're gonna, one sec. So the recipe that we're gonna be using is from Trifecta Nutrition, I'll link it in the description down below. So a chocolate protein lava cake, takes five minutes to make it 350 degrees. The oven is preheating right now. Uh, so the macros on this thing, so it makes two cakes and each one is 357 calories. 21 grams of fat, 19 carbs, and 23 grams of protein. So all you need here is some stevia. You're gonna need three tablespoons of stevia. You're gonna need some coconut oil, which I've actually never used for cooking before, so that'll be interesting. You're gonna need half a cup of some oatmeal, half a cup of any sort of chocolate protein powder that you have, three tablespoons of some cocoa powder, and one egg. Then we're gonna spray these little ramekins here, put them in the oven for five minutes, but we're gonna get all these things right now into the Vitamix, blend it all up. So I'm gonna be using the Vitamix until I can solidify that Ninja sponsor. So yeah, let's make it. Let's see if the Vitamix can handle the lava cake here. I mean, it didn't do me. Come on, Vitamix. One sec. So it was not the Vitamix's fault. I actually forgot to mention that we need a quarter of a cup of coconut milk. So that's gonna obviously add the moisture because looking inside right now, there's no way there's any, any like molten situation going on there. So gonna need to add quarter of a cup of light coconut milk and then that should be everything. There we go. That makes sense. Now let's give it another try. Okay, I think it looks done. So now we're gonna add it into the ramekins here. So I was wondering how this even makes like a lava, like molten lava thing. And I guess because it's only in the oven for five minutes, it's just pretty much cooking the outside while leaving pretty much the inside raw. Don't know how successful this uh, time around is gonna be, but that's what that's what the kitchen's all about, guys. It's about making making mistakes. That's how you learn. 
All right, oven for five minutes and let's just hope for the best. Okay. Well, it still looks pretty raw, but raw's never stopped me before. Okay, we got a little bit of a solidification going on. It looks pretty wet. I guess that's what we're trying to achieve. Macros, calories, don't know if it's quite worth it, but again, we'll taste it. All right, let's do it. So lava cake with a white hoodie on a white couch. What's up, mom? Oh, okay, okay. It's pretty wet. It's good, it just tastes like straight brownie batter. Really sweet. I can imagine it's really good with some ice cream on top. Okay. Next question from Swoosh Factory underscore 03. Ollie, getting a girlfriend anytime soon? So Ollie actually has a girlfriend. Her name is Emma. She is a husky. I'll put a picture of them on the screen right now somewhere. So she's a lot bigger than him, but he makes up for it in other places. What are your thoughts on intermittent fasting? Do you like it? Why'd you stop? I love intermittent fasting. I think it's great for caloric control. Pretty much why I did it because I have such a big appetite. Uh, I stopped because I wanted to have those more consistent protein feedings throughout the day. I felt when I started doing that, I had better workouts in the gym and I just looked overall better. Um, I probably would start doing it again when I'm like actually cutting to a lower body fat because I just think it makes it a little bit easier to like have snacks at night. But that's why I do that macro fasting thing that I talked about in a previous video. So I pretty much eat straight protein throughout the day. Then I fast my carbs and fat at night so I can pretty much go out and have whatever I want. Antoine underscore YB, top or bottom? I'm versatile. You know what? Then you go get some nut milk, I'll be right back. Yeah, I just remembered I could have fluids this time around, so. All right, so next question from Joseph Presley. Tips to lose weight fast, just started dieting and working out. So you don't wanna lose weight too fast because then you'll probably lose a lot of muscle. So my advice to you would to be to obviously do your cardio daily, track uh, based on calories burned and slowly increase that amount each week. Obviously, um, you wanna be very good with your diet, high protein diet. Um, I think a very good tip would just be walk as much as you can. It's very easy to recover from. So get around 15,000 steps, 20,000 steps if you can, if you have the time, that will add a huge difference. So if you haven't watched that 25,000 steps a day video for seven days, I lost like almost five pounds in a week. I didn't even change my diet at all. So. If you haven't checked that out, check that one out. Next question from liveyou.avr. Do you have any advice about starting a YouTube channel? So obviously the first one is to be consistent. Post every single week, don't take weeks off. Just again, post same day, same time each week. Um, don't think that you have to reinvent the wheel. A lot of people say like, oh, you copy this person, you copy that person. There's only so many videos that you guys can do. Think about it, who made the first full day of eating? How many people have made full day of eating? It's not everyone's just copied that one person. You just gotta make your own spin on things, make it your own type of style of content. And another thing is you can't get caught up in negative comments. The internet is a deep, dark place. Don't let things like that affect you. So my advice would just be, don't give people a reason not to like you. Don't be disrespectful, don't be mean, don't get involved in like the drama, just stay in your lane and you should be okay. Hallbrook, Hallbrook Gabe. Hallbrook, Hol, Holbrook, Holbrook Gabe. Holbrook Gabe, if you have, Holbrook, Holbrook, Gabe. If you had to have a last meal, what would it be? So first I'd have to distinguish between sweet or savory. I'm gonna assume that you just mean one meal because otherwise I'd just say like a bunch of a bunch of different things. So I'd probably wanna go with savory for this one because I'd probably wanna go down with some protein in my system. So gonna have to throw donuts to the side for that. And I'm probably gonna have to say a nice authentic pizza for sure. A nice pizza with tons of meat on it. Definitely my last meal. Adam Sandow. Out of all your diets you've tried, if you had to choose one, which one would it be? So I've done like carnivore, I have done OMAD, I have done, uh, what have I done? I've done a lot of weird stuff. But I think out of all the ones that I've done, I think I'd probably choose the vertical diet because that one seemed to be the most sustainable, not and it's like the least restrictive. Although I can't have coffee, I can't have donuts. But again, I felt pretty good on that one. The workouts were great on the vertical diet. So definitely the vertical diet. IB Kendall says, have you ever tried using kangaroo as a source of protein? So I actually have. Um, I didn't love it, it's pretty gamey, although I think it's probably kind of mind over matter when you're eating it. I'm probably just thinking of those little animals jumping around and shit, so it was kind of hard to take down. I got it at Costco, if you guys are wondering. You can actually go online and order all these exotic types of meats, so I might have to try it again when I do 10 around the world in Australia. I probably have to take another mouthful of that meat. <sighs> Underscore trip 1E, which I'm, I'm assuming you mean triple. What do you think you would do as a career if it weren't for fitness? So totally, I'd be a chef. When I was growing up, all I wanted to do was be a chef. I'd watch the Food Network all the time. Uh, I actually wanted to go to Cordon Bleu after I went to George Brown College, but then ended up in the fitness thing somehow. But if I wasn't doing fitness, for sure, I'd be a chef. And I actually still want to open up one of my own restaurants one day. Delphinium underscore star says, what do you love most about yourself? 
That's a good question. So I think I want to say the progress I've made as a person being from so self-conscious and like not confident in myself to like not being able to even present to a classroom of 10 people to being on YouTube with a bunch of people watching me. Um, I've just built a, a huge confidence in myself. I feel happy about who I am as a person and I just don't really care what people think about me. So I feel I'm just very proud of um, the change I've made throughout the years and yeah, I'm just very happy with who I've become. Killy Rob says, what is the best way to deal with negative comments when cutting and looking small in a shirt? Why does it matter, dude? Who cares what other people think? You should be working out for yourself. I mean, I just keep on pushing through and man, when you get shredded and you have like a tank top on, they're gonna wish they did the same thing. So again, don't worry about it. Keep on doing what you're doing. When you're shredded, you look way bigger and just, just keep at it. I am SK. I am SK? I am SK. Have you ever had any bad injuries that took weeks slash months to recover from? So I actually destroyed my collarbone when I was playing hockey back in grade 12. I was out for like at least four months. Like I was like showering with one arm. It definitely helped me uh, fix my wrist and forearm and balance, that's for sure, because it was on my dominant hand. So yeah, hockey injury, you could like even hear it. People were saying like when they were watching the game, they could hear the pop of the collarbone. I don't know if that's too too much to share right now, but yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Killer Briggs. Favorite place to eat in the city? I'm in rural Ontario and need places to go. So if you haven't watched my last video, Pizzeria Defina has pretty sick pizza. Uh, if you're looking for like a night out with your friends, King Taps is really good, have really good drinks and really good food. Um, if you like the vegan scene, cause I date Katie and she's she's vegan. So uh, Fresh on Front Street's really good. They have really creative stuff. Uh, Chibo Wine Bar, again, in a very Italian. I love pizza guys. So if you're gonna ask me stuff, you're probably just gonna get pizza. So yeah, uh, King Taps, Fresh, uh, Dafina, Pizzeria Dafina, and Chibo Wine Bar. Sally, Tony, do you have a PO box? Would be sick for us fans to send you food to try, letters or random. That would be pretty sick. So I actually do have a PO box. It's in my About Me on my YouTube channel. Uh, send me some stuff and I'll try it for a video, even maybe in my next Q&A, maybe that. So the last question of the day from Jared Good. If you could ask John Mayer one question, what would it be? So I thought about that and I was like, how about I just be smart and say, hey John, can I ask you five questions? But then he could say no and that'd be a pretty big waste. And I realized it's not like a wish, like I was wishing a genie for like an unlimited question. So I'd probably say like, hey man, would you wanna go for donuts sometime? Yeah, so that was the last question. And from the first thing that we did with the dry protein powder, the Funky Monkey one, and I loved it, so I'm gonna share it with one of you guys. So we're actually gonna do a giveaway in this video for a big five pound tub of Funky Monkey protein. So all you gotta do is comment below a your Instagram handle. You gotta like this video and then let me know what your favorite tub of protein is and I'll be shipping this off to you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.